In this video, I am going to install VirtualBox in Windows 11, and I'm also going to create a virtual machine with Linux Mint. This is the VirtualBox website. I'm going to click on Download. I'll download the .exe file for Windows. I'll click on Windows Host. I'm also going to download Linux Mint. I'll click on Download. So I'm going to download the Cinnamon Edition. And I have to select a download mirror. I'm going to choose this one. And it's downloading. I'll install the virtual box. I'll click next. I'll click next. I'll click finish. So VirtualBox was installed. So I'll open VirtualBox. I'll click on new. I'll type a name for the virtual machine. I'll type mint dash VM. I'm going to leave everything as is. I'll click next. So this is the hardware section. This is the base memory. So the default for the base memory is two gigabytes. I'm going to change that and increase it to 4 gigs. So I'll type 4096. And this is 4 gigs of memory. So for the processors, I'm going to increase the CPU to 4. So for the CPUs, you can keep it at 3 CPUs and above. For the base memory, it should be 3 gigabytes and above. Okay, I'm going to click next. So here is where you have to create your virtual hard disk. So the default is 25 gigs. This is fine. I'm going to increase this to 50 gigs. I'm going to leave all of these unchecked. I'll click next. So this is a summary of all the settings. I'll click finish. I'll click on settings. So on the left side, I'll click on storage. I'll click on empty. And on the right side, on optical drive, I'll click on the optical drive icon. I'll select choose a disk file. And I have to browse for the mint ISO file. So the ISO file is in the downloads folder. I selected it. I'll click open. I'll click OK. And I'll click on start. So this is the Welcome to Linux Mint installation. So I'm going to select the first option, Start Linux Mint. So here I have to choose a language. I'm going to leave it as English. Click Continue. This is the keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as English. So this is Multimedia Codex. And there's a checkbox here, Install Multimedia Codex. I'm going to check this box. I'll click continue. This is the installation type. So there are two options. Erase this and install Linux Mint or something else. I'm going to leave it as the first option. Erase disk and install Linux Mint. I'll click install now. So you get this pop-up. Write the changes to disk. I'm going to click on continue. This is the location settings, and you can change it here. You can just type whatever city you're in. You can also move this red dot. I'm going to click continue. So here, I have to create an account. I'm going to type John as the name. The computer name, I'm going to leave it as is. Username, I'm going to leave it as is. I'll type a password. And there is login automatically. You can check this box if you want to log in automatically. So require my password to log in. I'm going to leave that selected. There's also an option to encrypt my home folder. I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'll click continue. So it's installing. Okay, so installation is complete. I'll click on restart now. I'm going to log in.
So this is the welcome page. I'll click on Let's Go. So you can launch any one of these if you would like. Desktop colors, system snapshot, driver manager, there's update manager, system settings, software manager, and firewall. This is documentation. This is help, and this is contribute. So if you don't want to see this page at startup, you can uncheck this box here. Show this dialog at startup. So I'll click on menu. So this is all applications. This is accessories. This is graphics. This is internet. This is office. This is sound and video. This is administration. This is preferences. This is places, and this is recent files. Okay, so you want to go to devices. Click on insert guest additions, CD image. So I have to install this to enable full screen. I'm going to open the entire window here. So I'm going to open this. So these are the files. This is the file that I have to run. So I'll just right click in any space. I'll select open in terminal. And I'm going to type this start forward slash autorun.sh. Hit enter. Type the password. So it says press return to close the window. I'm going to go to view, click on full screen mode, click on switch, and it's in full screen mode. So I'm going to change a background wallpaper. I'll right click the desktop, select change desktop background. So I have all these options here. I'm going to select this background wallpaper. So I'm going to log out. So to exit the full screen mode, just hold the right control key on the keyboard and press the F key. And now you have exited full screen mode. And if you want to get back on full screen mode, you just go to view and click on full screen mode. So in this video, I installed VirtualBox in Windows 11 and I created a virtual machine with Linux Mint. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.